been said that the San Andreas Fault is overdue for the next big one, but new research shows it may be those lesser known smaller faults that we should really be paying attention to. Our Brian Hackney shows us why. Wenchuan, China, 2008. Tibet, 2001. Turkey, last year. All of these major quakes started not on their major faults, but on little branch faults that failed. So could our next great quake begin not on the legendary San Andreas, but on one of the tiny faults that feed it? Will your mother's friends know what the word geomorphology means? Probably not, but... <laughs> Forget the probably. Right. Not. Yeah, I was Explain ask. it. Stanford lecturer, geophysicist Ross Stein, thinks that big quakes may begin with relatively tiny triggers. We've always thought that the really big continental earthquakes, like the ones that hit the San Andreas, start on the San Andreas. But what we discovered is they don't. They start on wannabe faults, branch faults, splinter faults, little faults we would barely notice. Think of the San Andreas Fault as the superhighway of big quakes, beginning way down by the Salton Sea, heading 500 miles to the Bay Area. And along the way, all these tiny little faults branch off the seismic freeway You've never even heard of them. But they serve as freeway on-ramps to the great transformed superhighway that ends up rupturing. 1906. Maybe it was ignited by a tiny fault first popping off of magnitude 6, then sending powerful waves of seismic energy at the adjacent San Andreas. They come in and whack the fault really, really hard. They could come from an on-ramp fault like the Pilarcitos. It rises out of the coast south of Pacifica. So here's the Pilarcitos fault, a little wannabe fault, a sliver of the San Andreas. So see all that, all those houses? They're on the fault scarp. This has been uplifted by the fault, and this beach has been dropped down. That's why it's filled with sand. That's why it has all the surfers here. So we owe this community to the Pilarcitos fault. And the surfers, in particular, are in debt to the fault. But has the wannabe Pilarcitos Fault ever had a major quake that then triggered a massive quake on the nearby San Andreas? No, we don't really know anything about this fault. And all of these branch faults, we don't know very much. We've spent all of our time studying the big one. But it turns out that's a little misplaced, a little misguided. <laughs> we need to understand these branch faults because they seem to be the match that lights the fuse. Here's the payoff. If the idea is right, it could give us precious extra seconds of warning that if a moderate quake hits in exactly the right place, it might signal that an even more destructive quake could follow in a very short time. And in the case of a massive earthquake, every second counts, especially if you have some idea that one could be on the way. California